Lawrence, this is going to be your reading here for October 2022. Let's get into it, general and love spread for you. Let's go. You are heavily on some professional status here. You could be dealing with the Sagittarius. I see you making a lot of moves here, trying to eat, uh, make things equal, trying to make things fair. Um, you're feeling very calm this month, finally, after some time. You recently had a brainstorming session about the things that make you sad and the things that make you happy. All of the things. I feel like you're taking full stock of that to understand your emotional health to a new level, a new extreme. There's a deep sadness that's coming out that you're addressing. You're addressing this and you're addressing this in the manner of creation. I feel like you're studying yourself, you're psychoanalyzing it and coming up with solutions. Maybe you're writing things down. I feel like you're becoming very spiritual this month because you sense that it's helping you with your career in some way. It's helping you get some kind of footing um, you're knowing the right things to say, the right things to do. You're fixing this. Maybe you're blocked from going somewhere else. Excuse me. You're blocked from going somewhere else, so you have to fix the things around you. There's a lot of energy that I'm seeing about standing your ground, staying where you are, staying um, and defending, staying and fixing something instead of leaving. I feel like you're putting behind a, a deep part of the past. Maybe it's something you used to do for fun, something, a lot of energy you put into this, but you want to release yourself from that because I feel like maybe you feel that energy is unfocused, it's too spread out so that you're, you can't grow something substantial if you stay keep that in your life. I feel like there's some kind of lifestyle choice that you made, whether it's to be promiscuous or it could be video games. It's something that you're putting behind you. It could be visiting certain places, certain bars, certain environments. Environments that don't focus your energy. It, it makes you focus on other people in those environments. So it's like... You want to give all that energy back to yourself and create something. You don't want to give your energy, your creative juice to other people. And I'm seeing that's what's the, what's honest with the Ace of Swords there. Okay, I feel like you, you get tapping into spirituality and spiritual practices, prayer, be, meditation, because it's changing your perspective on work and life. It's changing your perspective on luck changing your perspective on your mind your mental game other people here are seeing you as very pleasant but you're not sharing many words maybe you're just hi and hello and you're leaving you're not you're not stopping even for small talk people are wondering what's on your mind they feel like, like oh you're drifting here to there something like that but the truth is you're keeping that energy to yourself you you appear to them as not of many words uh they they some are maybe poking fun at you like maybe they're assuming oh What's up your ass? Or like they're saying, oh, you're being childish. But you, you're not even stopping to listen to their labels. Like you're just moving on down the hallway. Okay, so what I'm seeing here, your hopes and fears here are having to make a bigger decision. Maybe you have to decide where something goes and that's, that's going to require you to be in a very good mental place. Otherwise, you won't be able to make the right decision or you'll be too influenced. The outcome here, I'm seeing that the Wheel of Fortune, there's going to be a big sudden change in your situation thanks to things that you've put in or put towards something. Detail-oriented decision and you know that you need to take care of your mood before you make that decision. Clarify the Two of Swords here. 
What is that decision about? Yeah, it's a decision you've had for a long time to make. And it's something that you've been on the fence about because it, it involves a big status change or something about money. It, it, it's a big decision about money that you've been having on the fence. Maybe you've been thinking about it since last December and you maybe haven't had an, an action on it. But I do see that starting to make sense to you uh, when you put your mind over your emotions in certain respects. Okay? Let's see the love spread. Taurus to the person, the person to Taurus. Taurus to the person, the person to Taurus. have communication with somebody that you fancy for, for marriage for someone that you want to continue to build with and to grow with you find them very attractive here and you find the deal very attractive maybe you're giving them some kind of deal this person is very satisfied um in their life right now they're really happy with your how you are in their life and they're feeling closer to you and closer to you i see that this person may be juggling a lot of different things right now they could be busy here and there with some work um, or Libra but the thing is here I'm seeing this person you know this person from some professional sense they're very happy with how you're talking about the future excuse me um, there are some games here in the there are some games when it comes to the conversation maybe you don't feel this person is all the way honest all the time but this person is this person is just holding back some trauma and maybe they communicate from a traumatized place but i do feel like this these days this person is happier than they used to be i feel like they could just hold back emotions here and there um to to control you more than connect with you but i feel like you're in the space of trying to connect with them more than control them you're not afraid of the future in some way so you're not trying to control the outcome but this person might be trying to control the outcome in some way and they feel like uh some distance from you here then they do that but I, what i do see though is you make this person happy you help this person move on from some mental conflict they had in the outcome here, I'm seeing that there is going to be a mutual love shared between you two. A great level of love. Both of you will know that you love each other. But I do see you not speaking about this. Both of you. I feel like you both will be silent about it. And you're just going to continue in this relationship. Uh, where there's a lot of mutual affection. And you're going to keep that growing. You're going to keep it structured. And you're going to keep it growing. Is what I'm seeing here. Alright, Taurus. I love you. I'll see you guys on the next one, guys. Bye.